In this little tutorial we're going to look at creating an XY chart in the spreadsheet and then from the XY chart uh, going back and creating the uh, equation from that chart. So the first thing we're going to do is go to view and open up the spreadsheet view and I'm going to go to the move drawing pad tool to give myself a little bit of space and I don't need as much of the spreadsheet so I'm going to squeeze that over a little bit. I'm going to enter some labels uh, by using quotes around them. This is going to be my column of X's. This is going to be my column of Y's. and this is going to be my column of points. Notice I'm putting text in quotes so it's not interpreted by GeoGebra as uh, a f variable. The next thing I'm going to do is have my uh, values go from negative 5 to positive 5 so I'm going to enter negative 5 as my first x. I'm going to create a formula equals what's above it plus 1. And I'm going to click on that cell and drag it down. Delete the last value. In my y location I'm going to create the function of 3x squared minus 5. So I'm starting with an equal sign. 3 times for the x I'm going to click on the value in column A. Squaring that minus 5 and pressing return gives me a value of 70. I'm going to drag that down and since I have values uh, up to 70 what I need to do is adjust my x y ratio uh, so I need of course to see negative 5 to positive 5 on the x-axis but I need to go as high as 70 on the y-axis. I'm going to control click Okay, 1 to 5 seems to be much better. Uh, we had some more vertical space here than horizontal space, so I didn't need to go quite as dramatic as 1 to 20. And so now what we're going to do is create points off to uh, column C. And the points are simply going to be uh, starting with an equal sign, opening parentheses, clicking on the x value, comma, clicking on the y value, and closing my parentheses. And that creates a point, and I'm not able to see that currently. Alright, and I need to give myself a little bit more space to see that point. And I'm going to click on that point and drag it down duplicating that and you see my points are now appearing on my graph. What I need to do now is create a list so what I'm going to do is use the uh, command cell range and cell range I'm going to look at the syntax the syntax is, of course, uh, the start cell, comma, the end cell. So that's going to be my C3 to C13. C3, comma, C13. And, of course, if you look in the algebra window now, that creates a list of the points I had over there. And now if I use the command fit polynomial, 
and of course I'm going to show you the syntax for that by holding function F1 and it's the list of points which I just created and the degree of the polynomial. Uh, sometimes you can uh, put an incorrect degree of the polynomial and you'll still get a uh, decent regression. So I'm going to type in list 1, comma, second degree into my command at the input at the bottom here. And I now have that function. And you see it's showing up in the algebra window as f of x equals 3x squared minus 5. Now normally you wouldn't necessarily have a specific function. You would be gathering data from an experiment. And if you suspect it's a second degree function, you would plot the points. Uh, again, examine the plot of the points to decide whether you think it's a uh, particular type of function. Create the points. Uh, create the list from the points and then do a uh, fit polynomial if you suspect it's a polynomial function.